Hey, what's up? Good morning. So today I thought I'd do a slightly different video, a video I thought about doing a while ago and then toyed with and because I've seen other people do their own versions online. But yeah, this is everything that's on an engineering student's phone. Uh, and take from that the insights you can glean about engineering or my own personality and how it fits into the tech and that that you use. So starting off here on my home screen, I have a to-do list. I think this is Todoist, the to-do list app. Uh, it's really nice. I just like the way it looks on my home screen and it's nice to have everything at a glance when I open my phone, what I have to do. I usually have varsity work here, but right now you can see I have um, just uh, stuff to do in the holidays and some general admin stuff I want to get done. Uh, over here on the left, I have Audible because I listen to a lot of audiobooks. Um, I actually want to listen to this Project Hail Mary soon by Andy Weir here at The Martian. Um, I also have here smart audiobooks where I have a whole lot of other books that I'm listening to. This is Ian Banks, uh, Consider Phlebas, that I'm listening to right now, as well as um, all these books that I've got to get through soon. I listen to a lot of audiobooks when I'm driving, when I'm just washing dishes and stuff, and so. Audiobooks on the front page uh, is the first port of call. You've got Gmail, obviously. Google Keep, I think, is probably the app that I use most on my phone besides WhatsApp. Uh, just for writing down ideas for businesses, for sci-fi ideas, things I've learned from different books, uh, video ideas, stuff about varsity. Uh, I take notes from all the books that I read in here. Um, things to do when I got any time, novel ideas, the books that I've read recently, uh, cooking ideas, movies to watch, all that kind of stuff, just for a, a general repository to write down all the things that I'm thinking about. And I find, uh, in particular, having a second, um, some people call it a second brain, but having a central place where you keep ideas or thoughts that you've had in your head or that you might want to work on one day is really helpful for organizing your thoughts uh, and organizing your, your mental faculties. And so I find that really helpful. Over here on the right, I've got Google Calendar. It's great. It's got all my timetables on it. It integrates really nicely with um, uh, all my other Google products, Gmail on that. It's nice to be able to look at, at a glance, exactly what you have on in the coming weeks. So I try and schedule all of my varsity and exams and stuff with Google Calendar. So that works really well for me. Todoist also integrates nicely with it. So when I add something to my to-do list, it adds it to my calendar. On the right hand here, side here of my home screen, I just have a Google Calendar extract. And then um, WhatsApp obviously is like my most used app on my phone, but I don't need to show you that. Um, overall on the left here is just the general basic apps, calculator, Google stuff. I use Google Photos to back up all my photos to Fitbit for the um, bad boy watch here, just to track everything, discovery to get those sweet, sweet discovery points. The Fitbit app is cool because it tracks your sleep. And in particular, seeing how little um, sleep you get and then uh, ranking that against how you feel during the day is really interesting and so these, this has been the past couple of days it undercounts by about an hour so I was actually got like six and a half hours of sleep last night um what oh this was Monday oh yeah, no I didn't sleep a lot on Monday because it was the day before my test I did sleep five hours okay so it's, it's not not too badly accurate but I, I do sleep way more than this app says don't you worry um going back over there Lightroom for the occasional editing of photos Shazam Time Bank Star Tracker, YouTube Studio for reading through YouTube comments. Um, I, I prefer to not spend too much time on YouTube in the comment sections of a lot of places um, on the internet because it's not good for your mental health, but it's really nice to read through YouTube comments. And if you ever leave a comment, thank you, be sure I will read it. I don't reply to every YouTube comment that I get because some of them are a bit inane. And when people ask me um, kind of personal or and, you know, uh, questions that might, you know, that they're just waiting for me to give an answer to so that they can start a flame or in the comments. I'm not going to answer them, but I appreciate everyone who comments on my videos, so thank you. Um, Cam Scanner, we use Cam Scanner extensively at Varsity at the moment uh, when writing exams and that in the EEC e faculty. Um, you have to write, you have to Cam Scan in all of your notes, uh, sorry, your tests that you've actually written, and then you have to send it through uh, to the AMS. That's how we write the tests. Uh, Ye Light, I have a light that I can control at home. Flight Radar 24 is really cool for um, looking at the flights, the planes surrounding your area. It hasn't been that useful during COVID because there's been a lot less air traffic, but actually uh, seeing all the airplanes around your current area, and that is really cool. And seeing um, where they're going, where they're coming from, this Johannesburg to Lusaka flight is around here at the moment, so that's really cool. Um, and what else have I got in here? Telegram, a lot of our varsity groups are on Telegram, so I've got to keep that updated to keep up to date with people. Um, over here on the other side, Easy Equities for managing those stocks. Um, I have Luno installed, but I don't want to open that because it's just depressing at the moment with the price of Ethereum and Bitcoin. <laughs> um, the, yeah, I mean, uh, that's about all the things that I really want to show you on my phone. The last thing I'll show you is this app called Solar System Scope. 
Uh, this is one of the most like entertaining apps on my phone. It's actually a live, up-to-date, real-time, a 3D representation of the solar system and of all the different um, planets and planetary bodies in the solar system right now, as of this moment. And you can skim through and see all the other different um, all the other different parts of the solar system and at different times. So you can see here, this is what the solar system looks like right now. Earth is on this side of the sun. This is why at night time you can see Venus, Mars, and then later in the night, Jupiter and Saturn at the moment when you look outside in South Africa at the moment. Um, and really cool to see how the rotations of all the planetary bodies and that change over time. I mean, you can see how fast Earth and Venus, Mars, the inner planets are moving as opposed to the outer planets. Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto almost never moves and you can skip forward like years at a time actually um, to see the different movements of the planets and see the different movements of the orbitary bodies. And only when you look at something like this do you understand why um, we can only go to Mars every couple of months. I think it's every 18 months. Um, because half the time Earth and Mars are really not aligned and you can't travel through the sun to get to a planet, another planetary body. Um, so yeah, that is uh, all the apps on my phone I think that I wanted to show you. All the good ones at least. Obviously you use Google Chrome because you, why else would you use anything else? Um, yeah, that's all the apps on my phone. You'll note also the distinct absence of Instagram, Twitter, uh, and the YouTube apps because those are all things I'm trying to use less. In fact, Instagram I only install once a week on a Friday night to read through some messages and then see what my friends have been posting and then delete the app again just for my own mental health. I can't be looking at Instagram the entire week looking at people having a fun time or comparing my own lives to other people's highlights and reels. It's just not healthy for me and I took the decision a long time ago to only install it once a week and it's... I'm trying to talk here. And it's made a big uh, impact on my, not only my productivity, so not just scrolling through the explore tab, but also um, my mental health with regards to comparing myself and my life with other people's highlights reels. So that's really good. Um, I am quite bad with YouTube though. Like I'll just come into the Google Chrome app here and then load up YouTube in here, which I know is like, <laughs> is <laughs> kind of defeating the point. But yeah, YouTube is my advice. I watch way too much YouTube. Um, and I think reading, scrolling through someone's, um, ooh, sex education is coming back. Scrolling through someone's YouTube uh, recommendations is shows quite something about their personality and what they're interested in. And so here you can see lots of space news. Uh, I've been watching some SNL recently um, and lots of engineering stuff. But yeah, anyway, so I'm, I'm trying to watch less YouTube, but it's not going so well. And yeah, I think that's all of the apps on my phone that I would like to show you. You can see like pretty minimalist uh, in terms of working and productivity. I actually do a lot of the stuff on my laptop. Uh, engineering students um, don't, oh, I know the mass majority of them don't take as many notes as a lot of other degrees. So it's not like I have a whole lot of note taking apps on this phone or anything. Google Keep is fine for me. I mean, I haven't taken notes really for the past two years properly at all. Um, I've just been doing exercises and, you know, tutorial problems. And so it's not like I have an iPad uh, with a stylus and that, like uh, I know a lot of people in medicine do have, because um, that's how they take notes and that's how they can organize their brains and all the information they have to remember. But in engineering in particular, like the amount of stuff you have to memorize is less as opposed to the amount of problems you have to solve and the the amount of knowledge that you need to just have in your mind in order to be able to do calculations and that that you've never seen before and so yeah taking notes is not not as big a part of it or at least my the way I've been learning it and the way I've been succeeding in engineering so far hasn't been through taking notes and that and so yeah I actually don't have a lot of apps on my phone uh, that really help with varsity that, that much it's more just uh, learning apps like the, the two audiobooks apps I have and then communications apps like WhatsApp and Telegram and Google uh, Keep and Google Canada and Gmail and that just for keeping up to date and that you know kind of basic uh, white guy stuff if I <laughs> do say so myself although uh, there is a ClickUp app which you can use um, and I, I have never used it Actually, I just use the, the web browser alternative because it's pretty good. And I, yeah, like I said, I use my computer 90% um, of the day as opposed to my phone. The phone is just for when I leave or when I'm traveling between two places. And so, yeah, the laptop is far more important. Maybe I'll do, let me know in the comments below if you want to see like what's on my laptop video, all the applications and that that I use there for Varsity and that. But I mean, as a Varsity student, uh, if you're watching this, you'll probably know, I mean, you'll mostly use your web browser and like Word. That's about the extent of engineering um, applications as well on the laptop. Although occasionally we do use programs like, um, not AutoCAD, uh, AutoCAD to design circuits and that and to do some analysis of, of circuits and electronics and that. I think we used Cadence. We used a lot of quarter software this year because we were working with the FPGA, which I mean, that's module dependent. And as soon as the semester's over, I delete that shit because it takes up valuable SSD space. 
But yeah, that's all the things that are on my phone as an engineering student. Um, thank you for watching. I will talk to you very soon and see you later. Bye.